Welcome to our new episode of Code Your Own Artificial Intelligence. Today we're going to focus on asymmetric semantic search. And of course, we are interested in an application of the sentence embedding. We want to have a content extraction from a body of documents. We have again 300 research projects currently ongoing in the European Union and we want to provide a sentence of reference and based on the asymmetric semantic search we want to see what are the results if we apply this algorithm. This code sequence has been trained on a specific uh, pre-trained model and I'll show you here this is the homepage of the author of uh, Sentence Bird, and you see here uh, symmetric versus asymmetric search, and they give the recommendation for symmetric semantic search. This means if your query and the entries in your corpus have about the same length, you have symmetric and asymmetric, you have a short query. Now, for symmetric, they uh, would recommend the paraphrase, the still Roberto base version one. But for an asymmetric semantic search, like if you have a short query defined, but you want to have all the sentences, even the long sentences extracted, he recommends a specific model. And this model is exactly the model that we are now going to download from Hugging Face. I already have in my cache. Then, of course, we have to encode this specific model with our 3,387 sentences from our 300 EU research and innovation projects. And after this is done, you can see that we have now a query. And this query is the same query that I used last time as a sentence within the body of documents. But now, as you can see, we use here from the utility a PyTorch cosine similarity query where we say we have a query embedding and a set and the sentence embedding and we want to find the 15 most similar sentences in our text corpus of 3387 sentences. As you can already see here on the runtime uh, if you run only on a CPU it takes some time but nevertheless it will be done within the next one or two minutes and I will be back if we have the result. Seconds later the code is executed and we can finally start with our query for the 15 most similar sentences in our corpus. So you see here, here is our sentence that I've chosen, cancer treatment faces a major problem. And then you have here all the sentences that are based on the semantic embedding in a vector space, in a topological space that are closest nearby. And as you will see, those sentences are not identical to so the sentences that we found last time when we looked at the scientific part, the sentence embedding, and the optimized domain-specific learning of the sentence embedding but of course, but because the reason is we have used a new pre-trained model. This MS Marco Distilled Bird Base version 2 is a different model that has been trained in a different way. And of course, the results that we get are different to a pure cosine similarity between the sentences of a bird base or of a Roberta Large or whatever model you prefer as a word embedding model. So you see again, highly dependent on your pre-trained model that you choose, but following the authors who told us here, the asymmetric research that this model is a suitable model for an asymmetric semantic search within our documents. So there you have it. And if you are interested in another way, instead of implementing a semantic search by yourself, you can use the semantic search function that is provided within the utility. And you have also another way of performing more or less the same code. But here now, instead of 
utility pi to h cosine similarity, you have here the semantic search function, you have the query embedding, you have the sentence embedding, you have here the size, and as you can see, this is our reference sentences, and you will get another 15 sentences where the system, our artificial intelligence system, thinks those are the sentences that are closest to our reference sentence. So you are not uh, focused on the cosine similarity alone. There are two functions, the PyTorch cosine similarity and the built-in semantic search function that you can use to find sentences that are similar to your sentences, and you can extract the contents of all the 3000 sentences from the 300 project description. You have here your reference sentences, and you get the sentences that are that have a high relevance to your reference sentence. Thank you.